right guys, so we're here. Emerald City Pit Crew is the name of this group and they are doing these amazing Star Wars vehicles. I'm going to try to get Hoagie over here to uh, tell us a little bit more about their organization. So let's get him on camera. It's all you now. Oh, okay. Um, hi, my name is John Hoagland. I'm with Derby City Pit Crew here in uh, Franklin, Tennessee at the ICCC conference. And what we have behind us is our, uh, our display. We had it at a celebration in Orlando last year, and we brought it here to let some folks enjoy, uh, basically enjoy riding on speeder bikes. That's what it basically boils down to. <laughs> Uh, everything came together over the course of about about a year. Uh, a team of folks out of Louisville. Uh, we had about 18 people total that were involved right. in the construction of everything. Um, uh, we, the original concept was we built uh, the Walker first, and the ATSD came together out of the idea at a pizza bar after a convention where, hey, you know, what would be cool to do next? And so I said, hey, you know, we started doodling out on a napkin, you know, I was like, oh, we can make it like this. Uh, it is actually the only freestanding half-scale ATST. There's other people that have ATSTs. Most of them are on a central column support system where ours is uh, freestanding on its own. Nice. Uh, predominantly made out of wood, uh, two-inch insulation foam, uh, some plastic sheet material, uh, a whole lot of love and hope. Blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, and a whole lot of Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Gorilla glue is great. Put a plug in Gorilla glue. Uh, we do love those guys. So uh, after the after the ATSD was built, we built the speeder bikes. Um, yeah, these things are actually really really cool looking. Lots of detail on those. Yeah, the um, the, uh, the electronics was done by one of our guys, a uh, fellow named uh, Travis. Uh, got another guy named Don who did a lot of the body shaping and a lot of the greebly work and. Um, again, they're made predominantly out of two-inch uh, two-inch insulation foam that's been fiberglassed over and uh, bondoed over, and that's what the main shield bodies are. Uh, there's a central column on the rear end, and they'll actually support a man that's uh, an adult male, you know, 300 pounds. I mean, you can get a big guy on. Oh there. wow! Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna I'm test it out here in oh, a minute. So yeah, I got it. Yeah. And it, uh, <laughs> we, 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 you know, that they're, they're good. They're, they're solid. Uh, so we've got a an electric system on them so they actually have a speaker that's driven by each one in the back end that fires up the engine there's some lights that coordinate with the uh, oh, the, the detail is amazing of these things yeah, they, uh, we actually had a bunch of uh, when the initial ideas came out got some models got a couple of uh, actual scale models and started pulling down blueprints off the internet and started you know <laughs> taking a micrometer making sure okay how wide is that um, and so, you know, th that was the fun of it, was making, you know, getting the detail yeah. and getting the, uh, the little things right, or at least getting them as close as we can to a screen accurate representation of what the bike would right. look like. Um, and those are really, really close. I mean, yeah. they look movie quality to me. Yeah, they're, they're um, we, uh, we actually, the uh, I think it was at Lexicon about two years ago when we had the bikes on display there. and. Um, uh, at the Lexington Comic and Toy Convention, and one of the uh, actual uh, craft modelers who had worked on the original screen bikes as one of the prop masters was there at that convention. Wow. Came over, and so we got a picture of him with the bikes, and he's like, "Oh yeah, you know, this is wrong, and you know, he would say this is different, this is different." Right. But it's like you know, for what you've done, it's really, really, it's really close. Yes. You know, so it's like, you know, there's a you know, turnbuckles off of airplanes that don't exist anymore. We don't have access to that sort of stuff. Uh, which is funny, you know, it's just like, well, what, you know, because we're picking his brain. Well, what did you actually use for that? It's like, we don't know. We went to a junk garden. We just grabbing some exactly. Good. But it was, um, it was a labor of love. We, we did the, uh, the bunker wall. Um, yeah, the bunkers. Yeah, it's uh, about an 80% scale build. <clears throat> what the intent was is to make it, you know, if it's behind the bikes, it kind of is going to look so if, you, if you're shooting it from the right angle, it all kind of That's looks perfect. scale. It does, um, yeah. Which which works out great. It wasn't the actual intention <laughs> initially, but it was like, yeah, that works out great. <laughs> um, 
but the um, but yeah, and so it, uh, the, the wall came together over a couple of a, a couple of weekends. Once we were like, okay, well, what would tie the whole thing together? Okay, let's do an indoor scene. So you know, there was a you know a talk at some point in time of actually you know fiberglassing some tree trunks together and actually have. You know, some knocked over tree trunks out here, and it was just like, okay, well, now we're getting a little bit crazy. Well, this actually has inspired me to actually do a a 24 inch die because I build dioramas. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm actually going to take a picture of this thing and build it as a backdrop for, oh, for yeah, photos. A, and then, you know, and, and that's exactly what I mean. When we were doing this, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I've got a cardboard diorama of that when I was initially, you know, like little cardboard cutouts. Okay. What exactly do we need to do, and how many eight foot by four foot sheets of plywood yeah. are we going to go through to make yeah. this? Um, which you know, I mean, if, you, if you've ever done stage building, it's very similar to that, where it's not a you know, I, I wouldn't walk across the top of it, but at the same time, it's uh, you know, you 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 got to make it light enough to transport in a trailer, collapsible to break it all down and still get it home. Um, but still have enough strength to actually be functional be functional and last to when you take it out display it and then box it back up take it home and uh you know do a little bit of maintenance work on it but it's uh, you know like i said it's a labor of love it's a fun thing and um this weekend we're doing it for uh, uh we're taking donations uh if you want to you know if they want to hop on for uh the Children's Hospital in Louisville. That's the uh, very cool. Yeah, so it's kind of one of those things where if you know if you can generate some charity work out of a love of Star Wars. I mean, you know, most of the guys that are in the crew are Five uh, First Legion folks as well. Nice. So we're not not an official like detachment off of the Legion by any means. It's an independent standalone. Right. But most of the guys are in the Legion, so that charity mindset is always in you know in in your game. Exactly. So let's do something, and it, it turned out like I said, it's a you know that that's the intent at this point is you know let's let's do something with it that's you know let people enjoy Star Wars and enjoy being a nerd at the same time. Yeah, as, and, and can say, hey, something. look, I rode a speeder bike. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's one thing that I do love about it is the fact that most prop displays that you see at the big conventions. Don't touch. You know, uh, stay. You know, stay ten feet away. We're one of the few convention items that you know we want you to come and we want you to sit. Whether you make a donation or not, that's irrelevant. Right. I want you to sit. I want your kid to sit on the bike yes. and get a picture sitting on a speeder bike because that's yeah. Because it's cool. It's very uh, cool. I mean, it's like it's like the one little boy sitting over there. He wants to take one home. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, who wouldn't want that in their living room watching TV? Just yeah, sit on a speeder bike. Yeah. I mean. I'm trying to figure out how to use that at work for a desk, you know, so, um, but cool. Thank you. 
guys. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, awesome explanation of this wonderful props. I mean, I guess that's the best way to put it. Uh, these are really good movie quality props. Uh, John, he, man, you're you're awesome. Uh, it, it's it's been a fun it's been a fun experience. Let me tell you, it's it's fun to share it with people. Oh, it's definitely and the reaction is what the, the reaction is well worth it. Oh, it is, and I mean it's like you see people come up and you're just like, I mean even even when I'm watching people come around and they're looking down, going, holy, you know, wow, the speeder bike. So, but anyway, guys, um, website. Uh, I, you can you can Google search uh, Derby City Pit Crew and we should we should just pop okay. up. And I, what I'll do is I'll find the link and I'll put it in the description. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this clip with uh, John and the Derby City Pit Crew and these amazing speeder bikes. Look at this big bad boy right here. Can you get in now? I mean, it would be awesome if you could. <laughs> you gotta be real small. Well, if, you're, if, you're half, if you're half scale, you can get in. <laughs> Good deal. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get back to the con. I'm gonna let John get back to work and put a lot of smiles on people's faces. And I will see you in a little bit.